Frankie, real quick, you know, one of the things that Gabrielle said was that we should avoid deep discovery with executive level. Uh, you agreed emphatically. You were like, they are not there for that. Talk to me about discovery at that executive level and why you think this deep ongoing discovery is probably a bad move for those entities. Yeah, I mean, I think it's it's okay to ask questions and clarify things, but when you have that Caesar moment, as you call with the executive, it's it's your time to come in and show that you've done your homework, that you've done the work. So whether you're meeting with an executive early stage in the sales process, which I think is a good move, you need to come in and show that you've done the research, that you've done um, the bare minimum, at least. Like think about all the things that are out there, right? With AI, like LinkedIn's got the account AI now, you can use chat GPT, you can use a thousand other tools that it's, that's gonna help you. Which, by the way, kind of makes me a little upset because I was like, I was doing that. That was my competitive edge. But now everybody has access to it. So, like, if you're not doing it, shame on you. Like, that's the bar right now. So, anyway, getting back to the point, you got to come in and say, hey, these are the three or five things that I noticed based on the research that I've done, based on conversations that I've had with people on your team. Come in and share those executive priorities. And we were talking about this in the prep, so not to steal your thunder, Gabrielle, but don't say this is how we're going to help you and like come in and be the one that's like making the change. Be open to these are the the uh, three to five things that I found. Which one is number one? Which one's the top priority? Where have I missed the mark? Executives love to coach salespeople and give them that feedback and like open up the conversation. Like you don't want to come in and have it a hundred percent right and then be like, hey, that looks good. Let's move on. Like in yeah. my opinion that's a bad sign. They're not engaged. You want to come in and ask. So the discovery question you could ask is like, where have I maybe missed the mark or what is the number one priority? And then you engage with them and have that conversation. So it's really important to do that. And then the other thing that um, I've learned to do that helps really well is have quotes from people underneath them from their, some people call them lieutenants or people underneath them and really start to say, Hey, Gabrielle, in a meeting that we had put take a picture from Gra uh, Gabrielle's LinkedIn, put a quote in there and say, this is what we talked about. You know, do one for James, do one for Frankie. And then you'll have a list of three to five people underneath their team with their pictures, giving, giving that executive some insight into what's going on in his or her organization. And they're going to love you for doing that because they're not having these conversations every day. They're not thinking about like this particular problem. They're thinking big picture. So you have the ability to bring them an asset that if they do want to give you that Caesar thumbs up, move forward, like let's get you in front of the CFO or whoever needs to be the final signer, you're going to make their life a lot easier. So that really works well for me.